Looks like we're going to have a new mission. Hmm. Paul wrote Ephesians as a letter of encouragement to the Christians in Ephesus to help them grow and mature spiritually in their work of faith with God. See, Paul reminded them about what God has done for them and who they are in Christ. Then, he instructed them about how to live a life fully as a follower of Christ. Lastly, he challenges them to put on the armour of God to stand against the schemes of the enemy. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 tells us that we are engaged in a spiritual battle. As long as we are on earth, we will have to fight this battle in our daily lives. We live in a world with many distractions and temptations that can pull us away from God. When our hearts are filled with doubts, fears and guilt, we can easily fall into sin. But do not need to be discouraged because Revelation chapter 12, verse 10 and 11 declares that we have the victory over the enemy through the blood of Jesus shed on the cross and by our sharing of the Gospels to others. God has provided the armour of God to fully equip us for protection and to help us stand against the scheme of the enemy. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 tells us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. We are not fighting this spiritual battle with our own wisdom or strength. We need to first take strength from God and depend on His power. Then we can put on the armour of God as commanded in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 to stand against the schemes of the enemy. Imagine a soldier who goes into a battle without putting on any armour. Do you think he's able to fight confidently? Now imagine a soldier who has to put on a full armour armed with a weapon to fight his enemy. You see, to a soldier, the armour will make a difference between life and death. It is a matter of life and death for us too as we engage in the spiritual battle. When we put on the armour of God, we express our complete and total trust in God and what He has done for us on the cross through Jesus. The armour of God brings about strength, stability and encouragement so that we can fight confidently. In this new series, we will learn what it means to put on the different parts of the armour of God. They are the belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, shoes of the gospel of peace, shield of faith, helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Let's put on the first piece of the armour of God, which is the belt of truth. We will learn that it is important to hold on tightly to God's truth and to be truthful. Let's say this together. God's word is the truth. God's word is the truth. That protects me from Satan's lies. That protects me from Satan's lies. And I will speak the truth in love. And I will speak the truth in love. Wow, you see, in those days, a soldier's belt was worn around the waist to hold up the clothes underneath and to hold the sword. The belt was made of tough leather and had brass plates for protection. It was the first piece of the armour the soldier had to put on. Without the belt, the soldier would not be ready to put on other pieces of the armour. It has to be properly put on, making sure it's tight and not crooked. When Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14, that we have to fasten on the belt of truth, it means that God's truth is the very foundation that we build our lives upon. Having God's truth in our lives is so important as it will help us to know what is right and wrong. Especially in this world we live in today, there are so many temptations and distractions. The Bible says that Satan is the father of lies and he will always feed us lies to turn us away from God. We need to put on the God's truth to be able to stand against the lies of the enemy. God's truth is His word. Psalms 119 verse 160 tells us, All your words are true. All your laws are right. They last forever. That's right. God's words are true. We need to know what God says and believe in His word. And to put on the belt of truth is to fully believe God's word as the truth. 
without a doubt. Putting on the belt of truth is to know who God is and what He has done for us. It protects us against the lies and temptation of the enemy. And we do not keep quiet when others do wrong things, but gently speak the truth in love. Putting on the belt of truth reminds us that we can look out for one another as the body of Christ, speaking the truth to one another in love. There is a story of a couple in the Bible who was not truthful. Acts chapter 4 talks about how those in the early church would sell their lands and houses and bring all the profits they had earned to the apostles. These profits were given to the needy. Acts chapter 5 verses 1 to 6 A man named Ananias and his wife Sapphira also sold some land. He kept part of the money for himself. Sapphira knew he had kept it. He brought the rest of it and put it down at the apostles' feet. Then Peter said, Ananias, why did you let Satan fill your heart? He made you lie to the Holy Spirit. You have kept some of the money you received for the land. Didn't the land belong to you before it was sold? After it was sold, you could have used the money as you wished. What made you think of doing such a thing? You haven't lied just to people. You have also lied to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died. All who heard what had happened were filled with fear. Some young men came and wrapped up his body. They carried him out and buried him. Ananias gave in to the temptation of keeping some of the prophets to himself. Peter had to speak the truth directly to him, telling him that he had not lied to men but to God. In the end, Ananias fell down and died because he was not honest. Wow, seems like a harsh punishment. But the truth is, God hates those who sleep tell lies. Ananias allowed himself to be tempted and thought that no one knew what he had done. But God did. And Peter knew the truth, so he had to confront Ananias about his lie. What about Sapphira, Ananias' wife? In Acts chapter 5, verse 7, when Peter questioned her about the profits earned, she also lied about it. She thought Peter did not know. And she too fell down and died. Although Sapphira knew what her husband had done, she did not stop his action, but tried to cover up for him. Children, when we know that someone had done something wrong, what do we do? Do we keep quiet? 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 6 tells us that love is not happy with evil, but it is full of joy when the truth is spoken. You see, we want to choose to love one another with God's truth. We want to speak the truth to one another in love with patience and kindness. And even when nobody else knows, God knows whether we have spoken the truth. We have to live out His truth as this reflects God's character of love. So children, let's bow our heads, close our eyes, let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you are the truth. Thank you for your word. Thank you that you are the way, the truth and the life. I want to grow closer in relationship with you. Help me to stand against the enemy and his lies. Help me, Lord, as we continue to read your word and to stand firm in the knowledge that you are our God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Children, are there lies about God that you believe in? Satan may have planted many lies in your head, causing us to doubt if we are truly children of God. But when we fasten on the belt of truth and build our relationship with God, we can stand against the lies of the enemy. Are you speaking the truth in love to others? Pray and ask God for help to know the truth and speak the truth in love. Share with your parents so that they can pray along with you. Let's build our lives on God's truth and seek to grow closer in our relationship with Him. Make a commitment to read the Bible daily and pray. Make the commitment and effort to memorize God's words and hide His truth in your heart. 
God's Word will help us overcome temptation and do what is right. Take time to reflect on your words and actions. Are you telling the truth always? Not just half truth, but the whole truth. If you find yourself not telling the truth, go to God in prayer, confess your sin and ask Him to forgive you. Share with your parents or your cool kids' teachers and they can pray alongside with you too. Remember, God is always with us and His truth will prevail. Put on the belt of truth every day so that we will remember God and His truth and willing to speak the truth in love. So let's say this together. God's Word is the truth. God's Word is the truth. That protects me from Satan's lies. That protects me from Satan's lies. I will speak the truth in love. And I will speak the truth in love.